Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to sit down and film this for you. Uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title description of this video, it is all about boobs. It is day five after my surgery day. I woke up this morning and I felt so good that I thought I would film. I did a little bit yesterday, which you'll see later on in this. I thought I was going to end with day four, but I just had to film again. So we're here. We're going to talk about it. And I'm going to bring you on my boob journey, I guess I'm going to call it. And without further ado, let's get into it. So this is going to be somewhat of like a vlog style video, but with me also sitting down here with you, I'm going to take you on my journey. I do have some clips and pictures from before. Uh, I do want to start off with last summer of 2020. Uh, my family took a trip up to Kelowna and I had a consultation with a plastic surgeon. Uh, his office, he is the Dr. Brian Peterson. He is so nice and I think he did a fabulous job. I'm only on day five, so I'm still waiting for things to settle here. But when I went last summer, it was really sad because the whole COVID thing did not allow my husband to come up and do the consultation with me. And that's where you try on your different implants they gave you a bra and you put the implants inside and then they gave you a t-shirt put it on this is what i actually picked out last summer and that is 375 cc round high profile so i did the consultation i was so excited but we did hold off. I gave it a year, pretty much to the day from my consultation to the surgery. I really wanted to make sure it was what I actually wanted, like there would be no turning back. And it is something that I have always wanted. Ever since I was a teenager, basically, I am five foot six and a half, weigh about 110 pounds, and I have flat, very, very flat. I've never had anything. I just never developed. I was a double A 32, and even the cup on a double A gave me gapping. Like, here's a photo. This is me before surgery. And this is kind of where I am now on day five of recovery. You can see they are sitting up extremely high. They, I've noticed a little bit of dropping. But that is kind of what they look like. So this summer... My husband and I, just the two of us, without the kids, took a trip back to Kelowna. We were there for, I don't know, a week and a half. The first week we were there, we just had fun. We went zip lining. Uh, he pulled me around the lake on my tube. Enjoyed the sun. You can see I have a lot of tan to me right now love that it was so hot too it was like in the 40 degrees 44 degrees celsius hot july 6 came along and that was the big day i was super excited super nervous i really did not sleep very well the night before i was just so anxious uh here is a clip of me waiting in the doctor's office. I am waiting in the doctor's office. 
doctor's office. They've done my paperwork, checked my blood pressure, all that. Took a couple Tylenols. I am now waiting for the doctor to come and put all of his lovely drawings all over my chest. Getting a little nervous. Took out that piercing, my tongue one, this one I could not remove. So that one's staying in. So I'm just gonna tape it. It's almost go time. I'll talk to you after. About four hours later, I think it was, because I got there at 11.30 in the morning. And then when my husband picked me up and brought me back to the hotel room, I think it was like 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. And I kind of got set up there in the hotel room. And then I did get a little clip on my phone again. And I was pretty, pretty drugged up there. But this was me pretty much right after surgery. of surgery. I think it's about 5.30 in the afternoon. I've been back at the hotel for about half an hour. Maybe a little longer. Um, can't really see anything right now. I'm icing at the moment. Everything went smoothly. No complications. I feel pretty good right now. I do have shortness of breath. After a couple words, I gotta breathe. Pain isn't too bad. But I'm pretty drugged up. Um, I ended up going with 400 cc round high profile and yeah I'll talk to you a bit later also I want to add that this is a huge decision to make I have thought about this for many, many years. Seriously, it started crossing my mind when I was about 16, 17. And I'm now 35. I have had my children. I've also had my tubes removed because I am done with having children. I've never been happy with my bust area. And before surgery, I did try to film a little bit to tell you guys on why I decided to do this. Uh, it was very emotional for me. And I don't know if I'll show you the whole clip, but I would like to insert some of that here for you because my emotions were high. It was, you know, coming closer to the date. And I wanna be real with you guys. So this is me explaining my decision to you. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. If I seem a little more awkward here, it's because this video is something that is totally out there. It is beyond my comfort zone. Um, I might need a drink <laughs> here to go further. I don't know if this video will ever be posted or if I'm just going to solely keep this for my own personal reference to look back on. Okay, this this just a weird video. There's no other way to get into it. As you can see, I am not wearing something that I would normally wear on my channel. I am wearing a bathing suit top. This is the smallest top that I could find and it still leaves a gap. So you guys can kind of see 
I can see like it. Nah, okay. Breathe. How am I going to do this video? <sighs> this is something that I have been thinking about for a very, very long time. I have always been an extremely small person. Uh, and not small as in like short. Like I'm tall. I'm five foot six something. And I weigh maybe 110 pounds. I'm tall. I'm skinny. It doesn't matter what I eat. I have tried everything to gain weight. I've had two kids. I got smaller after having each kid. So we'll start from the beginning. Um, I was always maybe like a full A cup, small B. And then I had my first daughter and I was 21 years old, 22, 21 or 22. She's th just turned 13 now. But before I had my daughter, my first one, I my weight stayed between 120, 125. I never surpassed 125 pounds. After I had my first daughter, my weight dropped and I could not for the life of me get past 115 pounds. Uh, some years went by, four years to be exact, and then I had my second daughter. Uh, she is now eight years old, but after I had her, I have not been able to get my weight past 110 pounds. My metabolism is just up there. I know a lot of you ladies are probably wanting to smack me in the face, but it is not, it is not as good as you ladies think it is to be as tall and thin naturally as I am. Seriously, finding clothes that fit is horrendous. I remember shopping with my mom once after I had my second daughter I was in a horrible relationship. It was mentally abusive and it took a toll on me. My weight dropped to like maybe 90 pounds. I had nothing. I tried to go, I left that situation, took my kids, left, and that was the best decision ever. But because of the stress, my weight dropped and I remember breaking down I was with my mom and I broke down in the middle of a store and just started bawling my eyes out because seriously, just nothing. All right, I'm good. <laughs> nothing fit. You know, I, I get the looks. I'm a tall, thin person and you know, you don't understand the other, the other side. <laughs> and just like there's a lot of overweight women that the same thing, it's not their fault. The struggle is real on both sides. So I just want to put that out there. <laughs> I need a minute. Okay. <laughs> I think I got a hold of my emotions here. Um, yeah, this isn't something that is just spur of the moment. I just woke up one day and decided, hey, I'm going to get some boobs. No, this is something that has personally affected me since I was a young girl. Every woman in my family has a figure. I don't know what happened to me on both sides of my family, my, my mom's side and my dad's side. The women are all... <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, but yes, I, it is June 1st right now. I go to Kelowna that is like seven hours away from where I live. I live in a small Canadian town, <laughs> so I have to go out of town and I'm wearing this bathing suit because I do want to compare. This is me before anything is happening. <laughs> really weird shot here but yes I want to I don't know if this one will fit me after I don't know we're gonna see anyways I, I have to stop now that was a lot and I'm gonna just keep vlogging I want to do I want to record this entire journey so 
My appointment is on July 6th. That is just a little over a month away, a month and a week. <sighs> All right, okay, until the next clip. Bye. It is July 10th, 2021. My surgery day was on July 6th of 2021. Also, I would like to add that cosmetic surgery, plastic surgery of any type is personal preference. I am not saying anyone should or should not do it. And I truly believe that if you can do something that is going to make you feel better about yourself, boost your confidence, then don't let anything hold you back. You only live once. All right, guys, we are at day number four post-surgery. I'm feeling a little better. I'm definitely still sore and very tight. I'm able to talk a little bit more before I take a breath. I'm able to, you know, I've got a little bit more mobility in my arms and whatnot. Uh, let's see. They are hard as rocks and sitting up extremely high still. Let's see if I can unbutton this. Also, I would like to mention that I am extremely bloated, which, look at that, I look like I am pregnant. I know that is from the IVs and the pain medication, everything like that. I know it will go away, but I did, I did want to show you. So they are sitting extremely high. I'm waiting for them to drop. So they fill out down here. I have started my massages and I was able to take it all off yesterday and have my first shower. I gotta say, my husband had to help me with that. Let me get my shirt back on. Charlie. As you can see, I still need help doing certain things. If you are thinking about getting a breast augmentation, definitely make sure you have someone at home with you that is going to help you probably for the first week. I'm lucky enough to have had my husband and my two children help take care of me. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I need to touch base on right now. If you guys have absolutely any questions regarding anything, please do not hesitate to ask. I know I did a ton of research before I did my surgery, watched so many videos. Okay guys, we're coming to the end of this video. I did want to mention a little bit while it's still somewhat fresh in my mind, but the actual surgery day, like right after I filmed that little clip waiting, a nurse came and got me, brought me in to this surgery room and there was just like this bed, medical, small, long operating bed that you had to climb up on and then they actually stretched both my arms out and I think they strapped them down. IV was inserted and I remember staring up at the lights and they were like these giant silver round beaming lights just over you and I started to cry. I was starting to like hyperventilate a little bit and the anesthetic guy, anesthesiologist, he I remember him telling me that he was giving me something that was going to calm me right down and then I woke up in a totally different room and kind of I thought I was at the beach I did. I, the nurse came over and I think I said something about the beach to her. And then I realized where I was and what had just happened. And I asked her if I could see 
They didn't have me bandaged up or anything like that. I was just, you know, just me underneath the robe. So she lifted up my robe and I remember looking down and I started to cry. And I told her, the nurse was like, why are you crying? And I, I remember telling her I was crying because I finally had titties. <laughs> it still hurts to laugh. I got to hold my boob when I laugh, but it made her laugh. She thought it was funny. I was there for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes waking up. They gave me a cup of coffee, some crackers. I felt good. I didn't feel lightheaded or dizzy or nauseous anything like that. Um, they called my husband. He came down. They wheeled me right out to him. He got me in the truck. And then we went to the hotel, spent the night in the hotel, and then we were going to drive back home the next day. But home from Kelowna is about seven hours. And thankfully, my husband booked a spot, camping spot, halfway home because there's no way I would have made the entire seven hour trip. By halfway there, I was ready to stop. I was in tears. <laughs> My titties were bouncing on the road with every bump and turn. <laughs> it was... <laughs> I got old. <laughs> it hurts when I laugh. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stop laughing, Charlie. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, Lord. I'm in tears. Just stop. As I was saying, for my daughter, they started laughing, and then I couldn't stop laughing. It's still tender to laugh, I gotta say. I don't know, if you guys have been contemplating doing something like this, I am pro for it. I know a lot of people are very much against cosmetic surgery. I am the person that truly believes anything that is going to make you happy about yourself, make you love yourself, why not do it? You live once, and well, I'm not getting any younger. So, if you have any questions about anything along the way, please don't hesitate to ask below. I'm going to be doing my next update when I hit the two week mark. That'll be the day where I have to do a virtual check in with my doctor, make sure everything's looking good. I do live seven hours away from him, so I can't just hop in the car and drive up there for a two-week check-in. Very nice that he's going to virtually go over that with me. And yeah, ask away. I'll do a two-week update and I'll do like a, a q and I'm going to maybe post over on Instagram too for get more questions. Not sure. We'll see. But yes, I think that is it. We are on day five. The girls are looking fantastic. They're just gonna look better and better every day and you guys are gonna come on the journey with me. Until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day.